isa ka ba sa mga batang mahilig sa numbers? O isa ka sa mga natatakot at nahihirapang intindihin ang mga mathematical concepts? Huwag kang mag-alala. Nandito ako para tulungan ka. Ang mathematics ay gagawin nating easy, fun, and exciting with me, Teacher Joyce. Lesson 19. Writing a given number as a product of its prime factors. Objective. After going through this lesson, the learners are expected to write a given number as a product of its prime factors. Before we discuss the prime factorization, there are two key ideas we need to review. First, factor are numbers that you multiply together to get another number as a product. For example, the factors of 18 are 2 and 9. Second is a prime number. A prime number is a whole number with only two factors, 1 and itself. On our previous lesson, we have identified the 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, and 19 are prime numbers lower than 20. Every whole number greater than 1 is either a prime number or a composite number. A composite number means a whole number greater than 1 that has more than 2 factors. Each composite number is made up of single set of prime factors. In other words, you can get a single set of prime numbers together and we call it the prime factors. That's why we call prime numbers as the building blocks of all the positive whole numbers. So what is prime factorization? Prime factorization is a method used to break down a given number into a product of prime numbers. This is also known as prime decomposition. If the number is expressed as a product of factors that are all prime numbers, the expression is called the prime factorization of the number. There are two common methods in performing prime factorization. One method is the factor tree and continuous division. In today's lesson, we will discuss prime factorization of the following numbers using factor three. I will write the prime number as red and all composite numbers as blue. So we have a composite number 24. First is to think of two numbers that when you multiply, the answer is 24. So we have 3 and 8. 3 is a prime number. We will encircle it and we will get back to it later. So 8 is a composite number. We need to split it down by writing two numbers that when you multiply, the answer is 8. So we write 4 times 2 and 2 is a prime number. So we'll encircle it and 4 is a composite number. Again, let's split 4. So we will write 2 times 2. Since 2 is a prime number, Let's again encircle both numbers. And since no composite number were left, we can now write down all the prime factors. Take note that you need to arrange the factors from smallest to the biggest. So we have 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 is 24. So you can also write it using the exponential notation wherein we write the repeated factors as exponent. It sounds hard but it's very easy to do. 
Now, how many two we got as our answer? So, we have 3. So, we can write it as 2 to the power of 3 since 2 is used thrice. Or we could write it as 2 cubed. And then, we bring down times 3. And if you're going to solve it, the answer would still be 24. So, it doesn't matter how you split your composite numbers you will always get the same answer. So we can solve the prime factor of 24 differently. So instead of using 3 times 8, so we could start by multiplying 2 and 12. So 2 is a prime factor, so let's encircle it and let's get back to it later. Then 12 is a composite number. So let's write the factors of 12. So we have 2 and 6. 2 is again a prime number. So let's encircle it. And then 6 is a composite number. So we need to split it. And the factors are 2 and 3. Since 2 and 3 is both prime numbers. Since there are no composite numbers left. We can now write down all the prime factors from the least to the greatest. As you can see, I get the same factors of 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 is 24. Or we can write it as 2 to the power of 3 since 2 is used thrice and then bring down times 3. So different ways of solving it but we get the same results. So let's have one more example then I'll give you an activity to solve on your own. So let's get the prime factorization of 45. First is to think of a two number that when you multiply the answer is 45. So we all know that 5 and 9 is a factor of 45. So, 5 is a prime number. So, let's encircle it and we will get back to it later. 9 is a composite number. So, we need to split or we need to write factors of 9. So, we have 3 and 3. Both numbers are prime. So, let's encircle those numbers. Since no composite number were left, we can now write down all the prime factors. Make sure to arrange the factors from smallest to the biggest. So we have 3 times 3 times 5 is 45. You can also write it using the exponential notation wherein we write the repeated factors as exponent. Since 3 is repeated twice, we can write it as 3 to the power of 2. Uh, we could read it as 3 squared. And then we copy times 5. So if you solve this, the answer is still 45. Now, it's your turn to solve. In 5 minutes, write the prime factorization of the following numbers using factor 3. Your timer starts now.
Time's up! Let's check your work. Number 1. So we have 32. So factors of 32 are 4 and 8. 4 is a composite. So we split it down to 2 and 2. Now both numbers is a prime number. So let's encircle it. Then 8 is also a composite number. We split it down to 4 times 2. So where 2 is a prime number, then 4 is a composite number. Let's again write the factors of 4. So we have 2 and 2. Since they are both prime numbers, let's encircle them. And then since no composite number were left, we can now arrange the prime factors from the smallest to the biggest. So we have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is 32. Or we can write it as 2 to the power of 5, which is also 32. Now for number 2, we have 120. We list down the factors of 120. We have 6 and 20. 6 is a composite number. So we write again the factors of 6, which is 3 times 2. 3 and 2 are both prime numbers, so let's encircle them. And then now, let's factor 20, 2, 5, and 4. 5 is a prime number, so let's encircle it. And 4 is a composite, so we write down again the factors of 4, which is 2 and 2. Now, both of the factors are prime, let's again encircle it. Since no composite number were left, we can now arrange the prime factors from the smallest to the biggest. So we have 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. Or we can write it as 2 to the power of 3. And then bring down times 3 times 5. And the answer is 120. So do you get the same answer? Excellent! That's all for today. If you learned from this video, don't forget to enroll from my channel by hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell for more videos. Once again, this is your teacher Joy saying, Ang mahirap na mat problems ay kaya nating padaliin. Bye-bye and have a great day!